Have you ever had poor customer service? I'm sure we all have. Hi, I'm Coach Jim Johnson, and as many of you know, I was a longtime basketball coach, and now I am a full-time professional speaker. And recently, I had an issue where I spoke in Las Vegas, and I sent two boxes of books through the United States Post Office, and one of the boxes didn't get there. Well, I shouldn't say it didn't get there. It got there, but there were no books in it. Needless to say, I was very upset because it was egg on my face because the clients didn't receive the books. And when I went to the post office, they didn't really give me much support. So I want to give you some ideas, some things on what I thought they failed on, and also some suggestions on moving forward to make customer service the best it can be. Number one is you always got to be customer focused. When I went there, there didn't appear to be much empathy, and I had sent hundreds of books through this post office over my years. So you would think of being a valuable customer, and the fact that I sent it priority mail, which was five times higher than their lowest rate to make sure that it got there and got there on time, really disappointed me, and they really didn't appear to give me much satisfaction. Number two is, not only should you satisfy the customer, you should make it better. So although uh, maybe the, they didn't have a refund for me, they could have said, you know what, your box didn't get there, let us refund your money. And do things to make me feel supportive. Thirdly, is stay in consistent contact. I've went through their website, I've talked to numerous people in the post office, they'd share that they'd get back to me and then they wouldn't. So again, that really disappoints the customer when you don't have consistent contact. And again, if you're consistently sharing updates, then you'll have a more satisfied and hopefully a raving fan instead of a disgruntled customer like I am with the post office right now. Four is you've got to consistently add value. And by adding value is what could they have done to make it better and then giving me some, maybe a discount package or something so I'd be willing to send more books for the future because certainly any big load of books now I will never go through the post office because I'm still dissatisfied. Five is use mistakes as fuel. And what I mean by that is is that when a customer does complain that should be something that wow I'm glad you let us know and how can we make it better. And, and I think you should always go above and beyond. You know, give the customer money back, give them discounts on future advancement. You just really go above and beyond to help satisfy that customer and again, try to turn them into a raving fan. Next is use social media in a positive way. Now certainly, I've posted these things in my other areas on social media complaining. But the post office, we've complained through their social media and they never responded. And that's poor business. When you see a negative comment about your service, you want to address it and they have not. Make sure that you're using social media to promote the positive, but when people share negative, that you use it and help correct that. And lastly, stay in touch with the customer. In my case, I've not heard from the post office now, but that find ways that you can create value, whether you send out a weekly blog or a newsletter, or just find different ways that you can consistently stay in touch and add value to your customer. So to review, you know, here I am a disgruntled customer, and I'm going to share again reviewing those ideas that I believe that the post office could have done and any of us can do as business owners in helping make amends when a mistake is made. So number one, be customer focused. Have empathy when an issue comes arise with the customer. Third, two, make it better. Don't just try to satisfy the customer. Make them a raving fan by the ability to go above and beyond when you make a mistake. Thirdly, keep consistent contact. Remember, if you're just gonna say, I'll get back to you tomorrow, make sure you do. Number four, continue to find ways to add value to the customer and just showing concern. Maybe give them a discount in their next 
opportunity, just something to make them feel better about being upset about your service. Five, use that mistake. The customers are doing you a favor when they share that they're disappointed and use this fuel to become better. Number six, use social media wisely. It's part of the real world now and when people say something negative on social media, make sure that you reach out to them and make amends. And then number seven, lastly, find ways to stay in touch. See how your customer is doing. How can you continue to add value? So remember, when a mistake is made with your customer service, not only correct the mistake, but go above and beyond so you turn that customer from being dissatisfied to not just satisfied, but to become a raving fan. We have a lot to learn from this. Let's go out and make a difference and treat our customers with the respect they deserve. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if my team or myself can ever help you, reach out to my website, coachjimjohnson.com. We're here for you. Thank you.